good Sunday morning. In many ways, this week has felt like an inflection point with Israel's war against Hamas intensifying and claiming more lives. And tensions boiling over here at home about how to address hate speech. Adding to the mix, with less than a week to go before lawmakers leave Washington, there is still no deal on Israel and Ukraine aid. NBC News has learned that the White House is expecting to ramp up its outreach to Capitol Hill this week. But a senior administration official is making it clear the engagement will depend on having a clear framework on border negotiations to work from. And that hasn't happened yet. Earlier this week, President Biden signaled he is ready to make a deal. I am willing to make significant compromises on the border. We need to fix the broken border system. It is broken. In a new Wall Street Journal poll, just 27 percent approve of the president's handling of securing the border. 64 percent disapprove. NBC News has also learned a number of Hispanic and Latino members of Congress, as well as advocacy groups, are becoming increasingly concerned that President Biden may strike a deal with Republicans on immigration that they find unacceptable in order to secure passage of his Ukraine and Israel package. The fear, according to one Capitol Hill Democrat, the president will accept border policy changes proposed by Republicans that are, quote, unimaginably cruel. Now, looming over all of it, the 2024 race for the White House and new controversial comments by former President Donald Trump. In a Fox News interview this week, he was pressed several times to say categorically that he would not abuse his presidential power if elected to a second term. Mr. Trump declined to give a denial. You are promising America tonight you would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except Look, what? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border and I want to drill, that's drill, not a, that's, drill. That's not, no, no. that's not retribution. I got I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, he keeps, <laughs> we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.